Uh, hello, it's Zora. Today I'm going to share you some advantage and intelligent things. This one we call the interactive display or another word we call the all-in-one touch the display. This one widely using in like the conference room or some uh, education the area. This one is the 65 inch with stand floor uh, the interactive display and uh, with the wheels uh, can moving to uh, freely. So let's check check it one by one. This one's the flat panel with the IR touch with 20 touch points and uh, here has the hide and hike the icon to click. This one have some main menu like home this one, actually this one, this is called uh, the center uh, area and uh, here has the home, the setting and I have some files and I have the plug like you have the different signal to connect it to the display uh, port like the YPPPR, HDMI or you have the DP uh, and have the OPS in here you can check have the OPS and they have some uh, like uh, the DP port and the VGA port. This is a multiple and a functional different uh, uh, different input source. And here it has some control panel with some short and uh, uh, using very often the tools like uh, the brightness or the sound adjusted or some like uh, uh, wireless device or sharing the different uh, screens and have some eye like uh, useful eye like uh, have the calculator have the calendar or something and here is the power button to just power on and power off and also you can uh, press this button to power on and off this display okay let's check it uh, one by one have like the galleries the browsers or some files and a whiteboard so the gallery will show some local files like uh, the gpg version or some videos and the browser, uh, you can use your local browser like uh, uh, Google or your local, the useful and the popular the browser just to uh, add the website in here. The more we'll show some uh, popular applications like uh, you have the calendar, calculator and have some uh, windows or some words to just uh, add it and uh, also have some apps you can like the WeChat or WhatsApp or Skype you can just uh, add and uh, download your apps in here uh, the okay let's see the screencast also called uh, the screen share uh, I got some uh, computers and uh, uh, iPhones and I uh, have some Android uh, device so I'm going to show you how to wireless device to just the connection to show to the display the first is uh, I will just connect the PC my computer in here so here has the wireless device it's a small and cute one Okay, so after the uh, wireless device is shining, you can just press the button. Then we'll just uh, automatically show my desktop the content to just to the screen. Uh, this one is my computer, and also you can just connect the uh, the one I talked like the HDMI cable or YPPPR uh, DP port also to connect your uh, computer uh, or the other device. Okay, this is the computer one. Then this is the phone this side so I will show okay this is my phone this is my phone's gallery you can check see it okay so this is the phone version here I'm going to show you the pad version Have the screen monitor to connect it. Okay, so this is my pad version.
Okay, this is a pad version. Uh, let's see other interesting things have uh, uh, in the wireless device and uh, the screen share function. You can see have the sighting button. You can divide it into screen into two screens and four screens. It means, for example, uh, when you have the LS, I mean the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, with one operating system, so you can divide it into two or four parts to just uh, transfer the four different uh, contents to the display at the same time. And the Android version as well, so you have the uh, Android iPad or you have the Android system, the phone, so you can just connect the two or four different devices to the display. Okay, let's back to the home, the center. Here is the screencast and the file will just uh, uh, have local files, local videos and have some applications like the music and the, the documents. Uh, this one is a whiteboard function. This one is using a very popular and very often this one. Uh, let's see, we have the smart pen to just write it down and have the different uh, the signals like from the this is a very signals is a border one we we'll like uh, you can just uh, erase them the one time or drag it big and uh, small and you can erase them at one time and also can circle and erase or you can like this and here has some tools for uh, my thing or some drawing like have the triangle or you can have the trapezoid or have the square okay so this is for the use for the tools and this one can just to circle and click and just drag and move. And this one is back one step. Okay, then just the forward swap. Yeah. Okay, this one. And you can just, this is one paper. And you can add another paper. Stars. Okay, this is uh, page two, page three. And when you just the uh, bike, you will see this one. And here is uh, the whiteboard, the sightings like the new part. You can to open the new whiteboard and uh, to open the whiteboard for some files, the videos, or some. Uh, documents and save this page and uh, to save as to like uh, save as to X file or save as PDF version or like the GPT or BMD this different and insert will uh, have some uh, like uh, the files just like the local to open and import the different uh, sources and the scan, this this one have the got the interesting the function. So I'm going to show you this one. For example, uh, comes this one will be have the QR code. After scan, see. The content we just automatically and at the same time to show the content to share this one to your phone, to your pod and computer. The email function, you can after you add it or you have the meetings, you have the class, you can just to, to email this content to, to email to content and the sighting side you can uh, change the display like the uh, wallpaper so for example the white version the green uh, the gray version and the green version 
Oh, this is the okay, the green and have some gray the version. So got this one. Uh, okay. And from the front panel, have the USB and have the HDMI cable to connect from the back side. You can we have the OBS and also have some different multiple physical interface you can connect directly. Okay, let's back to the home page. Uh, this is the center area. Okay, let's back to. Uh, we can show another the functions from the sighting side. You can see the network sighting to the VLAN, to the wired to connect the CAT5 or CAT6 and the hot port, hot port to connect the phone. Uh, general, the function have the wallpaper. You can change the uh, background the image and have the center, the menu to, for example, to always on or you just uh, to off around maybe five seconds or 10 seconds. And uh, here it has like the sound and brightness adjusted. Have the auto and the menu to adjust it, the sound and uh, I mean the brightness to can all, uh, the auto or manual to adjust it, the brightness of this display. Uh, Same, uh, this is the, uh, I think it's uh, like uh, the, uh, the Python to arrangement uh, the uh, whole area, this one. And to have some advantage, the function like you can uh, connect it to your printer to print out your uh, edit something or the source. Uh, have You can choose the different sources and the HDMI setting will support the HDCP, the protocol, and the USB can just access from the front side. System side will have some simple like language, routing, or the power standards, or the date and time. And uh, about this version of uh, this one, we're using the Android the 8.0 the version. And, uh, you can upgrade with the Android system. So this one's sighting and the files have the similar like uh, the previous. We just talking about it. Okay, this one is the control panel. Have some simple and uh, most using the icons like uh, the hot port or the the Wi-Fi, or have some uh, eye for the calculator or the browsers in here. You can just do quick and uh, browsing the. So here has the power off and the power down the the, the Python, and also you can just power on and power off press here. So this is the 65 inch the interactive display. So uh, for more details, you can just ask us or just visiting our YouTube channel. Okay, let's see you next time. See you.